guys, welcome back again from Tampa Bay. Today I've got a bit of an exhaust comparison for you. We're gonna do stock. This is a 2014 stock exhaust, obviously. And these are Yoshimura or Yoshi Pipes R77s. Right, all right, got Tom just off screen, the owner of this fine 2014. And we're gonna, these have the baffles in it right now. I'm also gonna be attempting to at least take off the spot weld on the baffle set screws for them and we'll see if we can get the baffles out and if so we'll also have a comparison with the baffle out sound and maybe one with no exhaust whatsoever so first up we'll do the stock versus baffles in now the audio level I'm going to have to edit by ear because every camera I have right now has a little bit of auto gain built into it but I will edit it to what it actually sounds like to my ear as far as the volume level goes. There's not that much of a difference, but it is there, it's very slight. The tonal differences, the overall sound, is going to be very accurate with what I'm recording with. So let me start out with the bass line. We'll do the stock first. Now we'll do the Yoshis with the baffles in. Damn, those sound good. <laughs> they sound really good. I'm gonna show you how to remove the baffles out of probably many different exhausts. These are Yoshi pipes and taking them off is super easy and this particular model is carbon fiber and they stay very cool this was just running a few minutes ago and it's eh, warm it's actually keeping my hands nice today on this one day of winter here in florida now to take these off it's a little different just in this bolt configuration than stock but overall exactly the same kind of thing up here between the outlet of the cat and the side pipes we've got one bolt and you just Loosen this guy right here. On these pipes, this is captured, this whole band, so nothing's gonna fall out. And then you take off this one bolt here, and there's a nut right there on the other side. Now on the stock pipes, this nut is captured, but it's the same thing. And then all you do, we're gonna wiggle it, pull it off the pipe, and that'll give us access here. Took off the little rubber seal caps that go right here. And inside is a set screw, and on these particular pipes, there's a spot weld holding the set screw in place, and we're just going to use a Dremel to take off that little burr, and that'll let that set screw come out, and we can take out the baffle, because we want to try it with and without the baffles, and the owner of this fine bike, Tom, will see which he likes better. So compare that to stock, and I got my bag in, so of course you can't easily see it, but you've got the same clamp down there and then the bolt right there. So the pipe's off now, and like I said, really quick to come off. Now inside, I'm gonna try to show you what I see here. You see the set screw, but if you look just to the left of it there, right in the middle of it, you see the little tiny spot weld. That's what we're gonna have to zip off. So what I got here is a Dremel with a fine grinding tip on it. And that's what you need, because it's the only thing small enough to get in the access hole. It really is a small hole. Sorry, you can see the size comparison there. Now inside, I'm just gonna come at it from the top of that little burr, and basically just touch it, and it should zip it right off. We're not doing anything to the bolt, just that tiny, tiny little weld to the left of it there. And that's it, should be all we have to do, and then we can take that screw out. All right, so here's the secrets on how to get this out. You do have to, like I said, grind that little weld out. I, I, there, I, there's no way for me to show it to you, but here's the bolt or screw, and you just have to grind off the little side of welding. That's all it is. May take you a while. It's really hard, the way this one was welded, to see exactly where the dot was because it was under part of the carbon. So I just had to keep grinding, keep grinding, and then it finally popped free. Don't put a ton of pressure on this because it will not move as long as there's any weld left. So if you're putting a lot of pressure on it, it's still not moving, you haven't ground enough. That's all there is to it. Now the baffle here, it's simply in with friction. 
into the end and the way we got it out easily is to just take off the two springs and looking down inside oh, of course i take off my glove but this guy's just stuck in the end and i just used this little jack stand handle anything you have about this size just stick it in the front end it'll contact the baffle about here just stand it upright and give it a tap and it comes right out that's all there is to it so now we're just gonna do the other side and put them back on the bike and now just for fun no exhaust word of warning only do this very quickly if you do never actually run your bike without exhaust you will screw up your motor That's really loud. <laughs> so for those curious, this is all there is to a baffle. It's just a freaking straight through solid piece of metal about six inches long and it just restricts airflow and changes the dynamics of the sound. Nothing magical to it whatsoever. And now for the final result, the Yoshi R77 pipes, no baffles. impressions and to bear in mind I'm standing here in the garage where it is resonating and it does sound different in open air noticeably fuller noticeably deeper I do not hear any of the sewing machine typical sound from the FJR now I know a lot of that comes from the intake but it is significantly louder overall whether or not it's got a drone or not Tom is gonna have to decide for himself once he gets it on the road but I'll tell you what sound wise there's a definite difference between baffles in and baffles out. It's going to be up to personal taste which one you like better. That's it guys, thanks for watching. If this video was awesome, give me a thumbs up. If it was horrible, give me a thumbs down. Subscribe to see more and we'll see you next time.